Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Neelam and I make videos on all of our making and selling candles. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what fragrance oil percentage should you be using in your candles and what temperature range you need to be using when it comes to pouring your wax into your container and pouring the fragrance oil into the wax. If you get this formula right, you will achieve a hot throw in your candles. This topic was prompted by a comment I received on one of my videos and this person asked, what temperature should they be adding their fragrance oil in their wax? And I thought, why don't I address this in a video? I'll be answering all of those questions in today's video, and I hope that this helps you in achieving a hot throw in your candle. With that being said, let's get into today's video. So in order for me to do this video, I will have to mention my specific fragrance oil percentage and my specific temperature ranges I use for my wax. The temperature and fragrance oil percentage I use in my candles won't necessarily mean that you will get the same outcome in your candles. This is because we use different waxes and all waxes are different regarding their fragrance oil percentage and temperature ranges. So please keep this in mind when you are watching this video. Always test the fragrance oil percentage and temperature ranges for your particular candle so that you can figure out what works best for you. When you are trying to figure out how do I achieve a hot throw in my candles, you need to start from the very beginning. You need to go check on your candle supply website and see what information they gave you about the wax you chose. On the candle supplier website, you will see that they have already done testing on the wax you have chosen. They tested what temperature you need to heat your wax to, what temperature you need to add the fragrance oil in your wax, what fragrance oil percentage you need to be using, and finally, what temperature you must be adding your wax and fragrance oil combined into your candle jar. You can tell by these temperatures that they are all in ranges. This means you need to test out these temperature ranges in your candles, and this is dependent on the wax you chose. Please remember that. You could also try looking at what testing the wax supplier has performed on your chosen wax. When I tested the temperature ranges the wax supplier recommended for my specific soy wax, I found out that this temperature range led me to finding a formula that helped me achieve a hot throw in my candles. The only way to fully understand your wax is if you test it. You need to also be conducting your own testing when it comes to choosing a fragrance oil percentage you like in your candles. Fragrance oil percentage is dependent on the wax you chose. For me personally, I prefer to use 8% fragrance load. I want to also mention that if you decide to use a high fragrance load, this won't necessarily mean you will have a strong hot throw in your candle. If you do this, this will then lead to something called candle sweating. Candle sweating is when you have used too much fragrance oil in your candle that the wax can no longer absorb that excess amount of fragrance oil. When this happens, your candle will not smell at all and will not give a hot throw. Now that you know how important testing is, I will now tell you what temperature range I chose for my candle that helped me achieve a hot throw. When I was testing my candles, I realized the heating temperature of the wax was very important in achieving a hot throw. You want your wax to be fully expanded before you add your fragrance oil. This made sense to me because the wax is fully expanded. This will then make the wax absorb all the fragrance oil. In order for the wax to be fully expanded, the wax needs to be heated to a high temperature. I use C3 soy wax and the candle supplier recommended that I heat my wax to 80 degrees Celsius before I add my fragrance oil. When I tested this temperature range, I found out that I didn't get a hot throw. This made me realize that I needed to heat my wax to a much higher temperature before I add my fragrance oil. I then tried again and this time I heated my wax to 88 degrees. The tricky thing with this is that if you add your fragrance oil when the wax is too hot, this can actually make the fragrance oil burn away. To avoid this happening, I decided to add my fragrance oil when the wax has cooled down a little bit, roughly to around 85 to 86 degrees. Once I added the fragrance oil at 85 degrees, I stirred the fragrance oil in the wax until the wax reached a temperature of around 75 degrees. You want to be stirring the fragrance oil in your wax for roughly 6 to 7 minutes because you want the fragrance oil to be fully combined in the wax before you pour it into the container. Remember not to stir the fragrance oil too quickly because you don't want to create air bubbles. You want to be stirring at an even rate but for six to seven minutes. Once my wax temperature has reached 75 degrees, it was now time to pour it into my container. I tested various pouring temperatures and for me personally, when I tried pouring at 75 degrees Celsius, it really worked better for me. Remember that you have to see what specific pouring temperature works best for you. I also preheat my jars before I add the wax. I don't want the wax to cool down very quickly once I add it into the candle jar because then this will lead to wet spots. 
If you don't know what wet spots are, I have already made a video and I will link it here. Once I have poured the wax into the candle jar, I will now leave it on a cooling rack so that it can cure. You want to be curing your candles for at least three to four days so that it can fully harden. If your candles have not cured properly, aka hardened properly, you will not achieve a hot throw in your candle. I personally cure my candles for seven days because when I did this, I saw good results. So the minimum time you can cure candles for is three or four days. By adding my fragrance oil at 86 degrees into my wax, stirring for six to seven minutes until the wax has cooled down to 75 degrees, was how I achieved a hot throw in my candle. I hope this now helps you in figuring out how to achieve a hot throw in your candle because I found out through testing that the specific temperature ranges and when I pour my fragrance oil, my wax, how long I stir and what fragrance oil percentage I use really influenced the hot throw in my candle. It can be stressful the testing phase but you will ace it eventually. Look at the information your candle supplier gives you and test those variables out. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment down below anything you are concerned about or any questions you want answering to. I'll be happy to help you. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Iridescent Candle Co. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.